Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'll cover a feature that has been released for some time, but I have not seen much coverage, which is the PVID. PVID has always been in the standalone mode of the TP-Link gateways, but it never really got into controller mode until later. While I did mention PVID in some of my videos before, I usually only do so in passing, so in this episode, I'll configure and demonstrate this feature more. So as you can see on the LAN design, I will only mostly focus on the inner LAN here. I have already pre-configured the four VLANs in here, 192.168.200, 211, 221, and 231. Also, if you're looking at the video, I will be using these three devices, two switches, two managed switches, and one hub. It is much better to demonstrate this PVID feature when I'm using just the hub, but I don't have any more hubs or unmanaged switch. I only have two switches and one hub. So for this particular video, I configured this to work somewhat like a hub, but only for this port 8 here, port 7 here, and port 8 in here. So. But before we further head on to this configuration, I just want to ask for your help that if you find this video useful and helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever there's a new video. For those who have already done so, thank you very much. Before we go on with the PVIDs, let me just show you how everything is configured. This is the inner LAN. I only have one device here for Umada, which is the gateway ER7206 don't have any other switch configured here so let me just go here go to wired and then for the LAN okay so this is the default VLAN VLAN 1 you can see here 1 LAN 1 1 LAN 2 LAN 1 and LAN 2 let me just go back here however the rest of these VLANs are defined on a per interface basis other than the VLAN 1 so you can see here that VLAN 11 or 211 is only defined on LAN 1 port. The VLAN 21 is only defined on the LAN 2 port. And VLAN 31 is only defined on the 1 LAN 2 port. Now if I go to the device, PVIDs are in the network ports of each router. So if I go here, you will see that I will only have two options, VLAN 1 and the one that I have defined on that particular VLAN because in the configuration, I only defined VLAN 31 to appear on this particular port. So the same thing works for VLAN 11 and for this particular port, 21. If I look at the one LAN 1, the VLAN 1, VLAN 1 is defined on all of these ports. However, in this particular one LAN 1, you can see I only have one. The only one here. Okay, and again, the reason why I can only select PVID 1 in here is because I only select this particular one to have that particular VLAN. So let me, let's just go back here. Um, let's go wired. <coughs> then, uh, then if I go here, click here, you can see here why VLAN 1 is always available here in all the ports okay. you won't see VLAN 11 appearing in any of these ports however if I add it here okay, let's say that one let's do that I'm just adding all the other VLANs in that port and let's see what happened okay. so if I go here click here and go to ports so this one LAN 1 will now have all the other PVIDs so why do you even need PVIDs for the gateway not for the switch for the PVIDs for the gateway one way you would like to use this is to separate each interface into its own VLAN in TP-Link most of the ports that you have here are trunk you can see these are trunk okay and if you plug it into a switch, then all of these VLANs will now flow into the manage switch. Okay. Maybe you want to have that particular port, maybe this port, you just want to have one VLAN flowing, right? <clears throat> maybe you only have 
one VLAN flowing and that's where the configuration earlier that I've shown will be applied so so say here I only want the this one okay I only want VLAN 1 to be in all the ports but all the other VLANs should be on the respective ports so what happens here is that you you can only have VLAN 1 and VLAN 11 you can only have VLAN 1 and VLAN 11 in LAN 1 okay you can only have VLAN 1 and 21 in this particular port in LAN 2 and you can only have VLAN 31 and VLAN 1 in one LAN 2 port and now if you want to just have a native VLAN flowing in that particular port to your unmanaged switch then what you can do is what I have here pre-configured already okay so you can see here this is VLAN 31 okay currently I'm in plugged in here so this one is what VLAN 11 so I will have a 211 IP address in here so let's check my IP Even to eleven, okay. And what are my clients here? Two, two, one, that two, one hundred. So, spin pie machine. Okay. So, this is the pie machine. This is the pie machine cable here, and I'm pinging it right now. Okay. And let's see now. I have shown I am currently in VLAN 211 and I would like to move to a different VLAN in here. I will have to do this move here. Like I said, I will have to configure the switch to be on VLAN 221. So if I refresh that, okay, it's still getting the IP. It's taken a while but you can see that I got I finally got an IP 221 in here and you can see that it has now continued to ping okay 221 and now if I would like to get a 231 IP this one is much better because we don't have to configure anything in here because it's unmanaged okay. And you can see here that I have 231 IP. Okay. So that's how PVIDs work. Very quick demonstration of the functionality. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something new from this particular episode. If you like it, please give it a like. If you don't like it, please give it a dislike. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.